Hello, everyone. My name is Omar Awan. I'm a professor at the University of Maryland School of Medicine and a healthcare and public health contributor for Forbes.com. I want to talk today in this week's episode in public health on health disparities in American organ donations. Many of you may not feel that the organ donation system is a public health issue, but in fact it is, and let me try and convince you with some facts. And these are facts. These are facts from data taken from CMS, okay? And as of February of this year, there are over 104,000 Americans that are still waiting for an organ transplant to survive, to live, to live longer. And just in 2021 alone, 31 Americans died daily, every single day, because they did not receive a transplant that they needed to survive. And the data is a little bit more troubling when we talk about people of color. So people of color make up 60% of the wait list for organ transplants, but only about a third of those organs that get recovered are from non-white patients. So this is a problem because when you transplant organs, those that are of similar genetics tend to do better with less complications. So obviously, if people are getting transplanted from patients of different ethnicities, that can potentially pose a problem. Now, obviously, patients can get organs from different ethnicities, but the more similar the genetics are between two people, the more likely it is that that organ will do well and do better in the patient's body without complications. So if we have less organs that are recovered from a diverse spectrum of population, it will cause problems. And these disparities really do exist. Research has shown that Black families receive less information and discussion when compared to white families with respect to the organ donation process. And one of the most common reasons for Black families declining to actually donate an organ is because they feel that there's decreased time spent discussing issues regarding the donation process with OPOs, organ procurement organizations. Organ procurement organizations are a nonprofit organization that are responsible for recovering organs that are donated once they are available. So Black families, and this is research that has been shown in many articles, many articles in the medical literature, that Black families are not receiving the time and they're receiving less information when the whole organ donation process is discussed. So it should not surprise anyone that less organs are donated from people of color when they're not receiving important information that will allow them to donate organs. So there are definitely issues and definitely disparities with respect to the organ donation process. Well, then what can we do? What reforms are needed? How can we make the system better? Well, to learn more about organ donations and what we can do to rectify it, please click on the link in the comments below and read my Forbes article where I discuss all of these important issues from a public health perspective. Thank you so much for your attention. Tune in next week for another great public health episode.